Hey, we're going to make another video with my old camera and my laptop. And for some reason, I'm trying to fix it. I'm having a really uh, difficult sound problems with it. So I'm just making a quick video at work to test it. So I figure I might as well make a video that I want to put on YouTube. Why not? <laughs> so I um, do apologize for my appearance. I um, haven't shaved or anything today. It's Friday. It's kind of a casual day here at work. Actually, I just got it too late. But enough about me. This video I'm going to make real quickly is a, about my, uh, a second video about my, uh, my disapproval or my uh, feelings about the flawed two-party system here in the United States. The supposed Democrat-Republican side, you're either Democrat or Republican, and if you're a third party, you're a joke. I disagree. I'm actually a member of the uh, modern Whig Party. And I, I don't know if I'm the only one in New Hampshire, but there's not many of us. Especially the problem with New Hampshire is you're really encouraged to choose a political party because of the we're the first in the nation primary for president. So when the president when presidents run for a political party, Democrat or Republican, or whatever, we're the first primary in the in the nation. So it's a big deal here. So the my hopes of getting more people onto this it's going to take a lot of work, and uh, I've been trying to do this for a while. But I've had personal issues come up, and it's just it's it's taken a lot of my time, which I'm still going through. But I'm trying to I'm trying to do some more stuff. So um, this video is actually I'm gonna make it short because I'm just trying to test this out. But it's my introduction video, one of them anyway, about um, what should the real role of the federal government be. And the party I belong to believes as its foundation most of this stuff, not all of it. It's a little you know. Modern Whig Party actually believes in a merit system as well as uh, states and local levels controlling more of what's going on, which I believe in. But I do believe, obviously, and they do as well, you, should, you need to have a federal government. So I'm just kind of outlining my opinion. This is not the modern Whig position. Should be. <laughs> but it, it, I don't think it is. Um, there's only five things, five things that the federal government should do in this country. And I'm going to go through them one by one. And at the very end, I'll put a slide up and um, so you can take a look at it. And I would actually uh, be really curious about comments on this. I knew I do a lot of religious videos, but this video here, even though it's political, um, I'm in this party and I, I'd like to do something in the future to affect real change. I know that's a Democrat thing. They say they affect change, whatever. I think Democrats, Republicans are pretty much the same. But um, I feel that it, we could do some good. So this is my little way of putting it out there, putting it on YouTube and see what people think. So um, five things the federal government should do, and that's it. If, if, uh, if whatever they're trying to do doesn't fall within those five statements or bullets or whatever, then they shouldn't have their hands in it. So here they are one by one from what I think is the most agreeable to everybody down to maybe what might not be, more or less. First thing, easy. Defense and sovereignty of the country. That's an easy one. Uh, we don't want states controlling treaties, uh, uh, peace treaties and stuff like that with different countries. So, and we don't want to have to raise militia in every state to join together and fight for whatever might come down the pipe. So, we need an armed forces run by the federal government. National Guard and Reserves are still needed as well. And uh, I think the defense and protection and running of the sovereignty of this country need to be controlled by a federal government. So there still needs to be a Department of State, a Department of Defense, and handle those, those areas in relating to other countries, protecting our borders and our sovereignty, and unfortunately, if the occasion arises, to fight other nations, if, if, if so be it. Um, so that has to be controlled by the federal government. You have to have an entity that controls that. So I think that's number one. you got to have that, no questions asked. Uh, number two, some people might disagree with this, but health care. We live in the, one of the richest countries in the world, um, highest standard of living, living <clears throat> and we got people that can't even go to the hospital. Uh, it, it's just a joke, and it's because of the AMA and a few other things that control this stuff. They want to get paid, so it's just the system is totally broke down, and I know supposedly Obamacare and other stuff is trying to fix it, and there's all kinds of problems with that. However, I do believe in a national health care system, socialized medicine. I know that's a bad word to call it. But um, healthcare should be a, a, a benefit to every single person in this country. 
every every citizen in this country should have health care and visitors from foreign countries if they're here, obviously. But um, there shouldn't be an issue. If somebody is sick and they're dirt poor, they should not get less treatment than somebody who's rich. The only exceptions to that are, you know, obviously a rich person person can go into experimental drugs and all that stuff. That's just the way it goes. That's that's just the way it is. That's fine. But a person's health care shouldn't be determined on their uh, economic value or their uh, their I can't think of the word. I'm sorry. Where they rate on the economic scale. That's a crime to me. It's a crime. It's a. That's why I could never be a Republican because of that one reason. Um, so. I think that um, health care should be controlled by the federal government. And whatever way they can figure it out, that's actually fair and works for everybody. Um, the private uh, solution doesn't work because you have some people that just aren't smart enough to do it. And if somebody isn't smart enough to handle it, why should they be penalized and have to die because they can't get the right treatment? And somebody who has money or is smart can handle their own health care can benefit from that. I just don't think it's right. I think that uh, the government, this country, should take care of its people and should have health care. That's just is my opinion. Um, three, retirement. I say a basic form of retirement. I don't think that the federal government should take care of everybody who reaches the age of 65 or 70 and give them a yacht to go sailing around the world. I don't believe that. What I do believe is, um, excuse me, when somebody puts and works their whole life, or let's say an agreeable amount of years that's determined by some law, Say it's, you have to work 30, 35, 40 years, whatever. And you reach a retirement age as determined by the government. I'm fine with that. Whatever it happens to be. They should have a benefit. Whatever it may be. And, it, and at the very least, it should be a benefit that keeps them able to live somewhere and feed them. <laughs> you don't have to worry about health care because that should be provided number two. But they should be able to eat and live somewhere. Minimum. Um, without question. Nobody should reach the age of retirement and live on a cardboard box and not have to not be able to eat. I don't think it's right. I, I just don't. So I think the federal government should control some type of retirement plan. Obviously, if people want to do the other stuff and get more money, hey, that's great. Um, you know, that way you could stay around the, around, the, around the world or whatever. So you, you need to encourage people to save for retirement. But there should be some program set up. And I know it supposedly is, but it's totally broken. It's totally broken. Um, Social Security, is, I'm not even going to count on it when I retire. But there should be a program set up to give those basic needs, or if Social Security is supposed to do that, let's fix Social Security <laughs> and not use it to pay for bridges going across certain congressmen's districts or whatever. Sorry, that's I read this somewhere that people attach all these things to bills. I'm sorry. But it, it needs to be fixed, so they need to take care of retirees. I know that was, that was supposedly done in the 1930s, but the system is broke, so they need to fix it. Um, fourth out of five... Um, a lot of people disagree with this, but education. Uh, there should be a national standard for education in this country. And you know what? just found out a little while ago that there actually is one coming around. It's called Common Core Standards. And 46 out of the 50 states, I guess, are into this, including the state I'm in, which New Hampshire, I'm sorry, is notorious for education. I did a video back about a year ago about that and how bad it is. But um, they're actually starting to try to fix it and using testing and resources to try to get standards the same for different states. And I think it's wonderful. So I guess maybe that one's being taken care of. I hope whatever it needs, that needs to be taken care of so it happens. I think that a, uh, a person should have the benef same benefits going to school in school A or in school B. So um, i got a teacher walking in. I'm going to wrap this up. So um, I think education should be... Um, uh, level across the playing field for uh, anywhere in the country. So, um, and I think they're actually trying to do that, and I hope it. I hope it works out. I know that's on the Democrat side likes that a little more than the Republican side. I actually believe that as well. So, education standards should be national, not run by the state. Um, last but not least, is um, the. Um, sorry, I got a teacher right at my window looking at me. <laughs> Um, is the judicial or the laws, the federal go the laws of the country. I think that um, actually um, there needs to be a judicial level and a, f a federal judicial level and a federal law enforcement level to support the local and state bureaus or departments so that there's a process for people who do appeals and stuff like that. And there should be national laws that are national standards so that when you go from one state to another, you're not going to have problems of what laws to follow. I think they need to 
kind of take it from the top down. Obviously, states are going to have different rules and regulations because the sovereignty of the states is very important to me as well. But um, there should be agencies at the federal level to control uh, the judicial process as well as law enforcement. So there's my five, whoop, my five uh, things the federal government should do. If the federal government can't fall into one of those categories, I think they need to stay out of it and let the states and local levels handle that. That's why the political party I belong to believes that, and I think it's really great. And if you never heard of it before, it's called the Modern Whig Party. Go to modernwig.org. There's a link hopefully below here. And you can click on that and go there and read all about it. A lot of stuff in there you can read about and find some information. It's good stuff, and I'll put a slide up now. I'll leave it up for a few seconds so you can take a look at it of these five reasons. And let me know what you think. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks. And also, uh, this goes along with a lot of my religious stuff I do. It's another way of kind of doing what you can to make things better. So, thanks for watching.